Today, I want to talk about church projection. In any typical church setup, you want to have a way of uh, outputting lyrics of a song or the scriptures onto the screen for the church members. I have here two TVs, specifically from NASCO, and then my PC. And then I have an HDMI splitter, a two-port HDMI splitter. So the input of the PC goes into the splitter, and then one output goes to uh, the first TV, and the second output goes to this TV. So if I remove one of the TVs from the splitter, you can see that the TVs goes off, and I think one of them should, should come back on. This one counts on, this one is off. Okay, then I can, if I connect it back for you to see that they are both connected to this particular splitter. Okay, now, uh, there are a lot of presentation softwares now. In GH, what is common among us is Easy Worship, but Easy Worship is not for free. You have to pay something for it. Now, there's a free one called OpenLP. I would advise you to check OpenLP later, especially if you are your church, you're on a budget, you're just starting afresh, and you can't get the Easy Worship, then you need to check out OpenLP. But today, I have Easy Worship, the old version, the 2009 version, and I'm going to demonstrate that for you. So, I launched Easy Worship 2009 then change my settings from to secondary monitor secondary monitor okay yes i can change my background to any particular background i want go live then it goes live so anything at all i decide to put on the screen almighty god my redeemer if i need to change to the next scripture or the next line of the song then i change it next line of a song then i change it now typically when you are uh, looking for a tv or a screen to use for a church setup or an office conference room you don't need a, a wireless tv or a smart tv satellite tv digital tv and all those things all you are looking for is a tv that can support the kind of network you have done now in this network i have an hdmi network so i just need a tv that can give me an hdmi input so if you get a tv that has one hdmi input or two hdmi input that should be able to work for you now if you are doing a setup and then your setup you are doing is a, a vga setup then you need a tv or a screen that can support the vga setup nasco 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 gives a very good the, the the screen is okay it's not the best of the best screens that you can get but it's cheap it is very affordable so you can use the nasco tvs and buy a, as big as you want to do the presentation if you can afford the uh, the standard led tvs that is, is is on the market these days now there are situations where you want to be able to uh, put video the live video onto the screen for the church members now in that case what you need is that i've done a lot of videos demonstrating how to do a video setup if you, if you have any video setup okay all you have to do is connect the output into a capture card onto the pc then you can do that so i'm going to demonstrate that using my canon camera here and then uh how do you call it my a capture card so i have to connect the capture card to the pc okay so i connect the capture card to the pc so the capture card is a 3.0 capture card so i have to connect it to the pc so 3.0 capture card then i connect the um, the camera one camera setup okay okay to the hdmi okay now in a church, if you have only one camera in your church, then you can do this uh, sort of setup. So from the camera, it goes into a capture card, capture card on into the PC. So I'm using the same PC to mix the screens and the same PC to do the capturing from this camera. So I can decide to put this video onto the screen. So let me, let me, let me show something different so that you might see what I'm talking about. Um, so okay maybe the remote remote of the nasco tv let it display the remote yes so it's showing the remote of the nasco tv now i need for you to be able to do something of this sort ideally you should have, you should have a, a software let's talk about a vmix obs wirecast i'm going to demonstrate that with both vmix and then obs now you add the capture card as an input in vmix or obs so i'm going to demonstrate vmix first and then we do the OBS later. 
So I'm launching, I launch VMX now. Then I add the, I want to change the setup. I know my camera is actually outputting at 1080p 60. So I want to make sure that the work, working area for VMX is 1080p 60. If you can see from here, it's 720p 50. So I go to the settings, settings. Then I change the whole setup to 1080p 60. 1080p power, let's see, where are you? Yes, 60. Yes, VMix, want to apply changes. Yes, VMix is going to apply the changes. It's going to start. So VMix will relaunch itself again. Okay, so now when VMix is ready, then I can add the camera to it as an input. So as first of all, I just have to add the, uh, okay, you know what? Let me just disconnect the camera from the capture card. Then we see. Okay, so I add the capture card separately. So I go to camera, camera, my, this capture card is called USB 3.0 capture card. And then uh, I think I choose 1080p to my camera is giving some sort of auto power off. No, I don't want it to go to. Okay. It's on again. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I choose 1080p 60. Uh, I don't want, for, for this purpose, I want to mute the audio. So I select it. Okay, so by the time you see the color bars, that means I've been able to add my capture card successfully. I can now add my camera to it and see if it works. Yes. So you can see that I have a display of my NASCO remotes. A display of the remote I'm using. I think uh, for this purpose, let me just change it to shoot the splitter. The splitter and portions of the TV for me. Okay, so now, instead of having to use uh, Easy Worship, instead of having to use Easy Worship to control the screen, I want to use VMix to control the screen because I want to put, I want to be able to choose between um, adding the um, the video to the screen and adding the Easy Worship to the screen. Okay, so I have to change the settings for Easy Worship so that I can add Easy Worship back to the screen. So I change the Easy Worship to Custom Position and I click OK. Okay, so now you can see that Easy Worship is not displaying on the screen. What we have on the screen is the output of my screen. Then in uh, in VMAX, I go to full screen, tap. Now I can choose what display goes onto the screen. I can either choose the output or the preview. So if I want the output on the screen, extended. Okay, so now if I want the output on the screen, now this is the preview, this is the output. So this location is the preview. This location is the output. So if I want the output on the screen, I check display one and I know that my display is on output. So I just turn on my output and you can see the video on the screen. So you can see this same video that I have here onto the screen. Now I have to add Easy Worship into VMix. I have to add Easy Worship into VMix. So I go to add input, go to camera. Uh, oh, sorry, I don't go to camera, sorry. I go to NDI and desktop capture. So I go to local NDI and then live output. So I go to live output and I click OK. Now, you realize that in, in VMix, I have two options here. Auto power off, don't auto power off, don't auto power off. Okay, so I have two options here. The first, my first, uh, the first input is the camera and then the second input is my easy worship. So if I go to easy worship and then I change this, go to maybe a scripture, and this is chapter one, verse one, go live. You can see it is inputted onto the screen for me this way. So I choose what goes onto the screen. So if I want Easy Worship to be on the screen, I just have to fade from the video to the Easy Worship. And then we have the Easy Worship on the screen. Now, typically, you, you decide what goes onto the screen. There are times where maybe in a church, your screens are so small, when you put the both video and text onto the screen, it makes it it's a, a bit difficult for people to see. Then in such situations, you can either choose either the video or you choose either the text. Now in this case, maybe there are some, some cases, your screens are big enough and you want to be able to put both the, uh, the video and then the text onto the screen. 
you just need to make a few changes in uh, easy worship and then you can do that so i go to easy worship and then i choose a black background i choose a particular black background and then i go live okay now in easy worship you can see it in vmix sorry in vmix i have a black background if i fade onto the screen you realize that i have the whole scripture on on the screen which is not what i'm looking for what i'm actually looking for is i want to be able to add the text onto the video okay so i can switch back to my video fade into my video then now i go to the settings of this particular input this particular input input 2 that's the desktop i tap on settings and then i go to color key i select the color key and then i can take away a little of the black so luma key black okay then now i have a transparent background and then any time i put a text onto it it goes to the screen so i just use this input as um uh, I, do, I just overlay that onto the screen so i tap it and then it's onto the screen so you can see that we have um, yeah i want to move it away from the bits we have the text onto the screen so if you check the screen we have the video so ideally if the video was showing the face of the preacher of the preacher you have it showing the face of the preacher and then the text is on the screen so even if it's the songs or the lyrics of the songs that you are, you are trying to project they are both on the screen so you have the video so you are moving around the video and onto the screen i'm going to demonstrate the same thing with obs okay so now i launch obs and then let me remove this capture card and then re-add it again just for sure okay so i add the capture card again so my video capture card video capture card and then capture device okay and then this particular device is what I'm looking for. So I click OK. Then I need to add uh, Easy Worship 2. So I have to look for Easy Worship. Easy Worship 2009, exactly what I'm looking for. It launches and I click uh, Go Live just to have a display here. Okay, so just as I did for the first one, you just have to make sure it's not on secondary monitor, but it is on a custom monitor. Okay, so then now I go to add. Um, so I add Windows Capture, Windows Capture, so you can call it Easy Worship, Easy Worship, okay, then I now look for what, I'm, what I need, I'm looking for Easy Worship Live Output, so Easy Worship Executable Live Output, so it displays the text for me, so I click OK, now you can see that the text is a bit smaller on the screen, than what I would want it to be. Let me zoom out a bit. Yes, so what I can do is that I can select it. I can move it anywhere I want to. This is easy worship that's coming in now. So I can select it, transform, and then click fit to screen for it to fit the whole screen if that's what you want to do. Okay, then we can add a filter to easy worship. So I select uh, easy worship and I go to filters directly and then add a new filter to easy worship selection okay so what i want to do is i want to add a color key so i click on color key okay so specifically which color do i want i want black so i want custom color then i select a particular color that i want to remove out that is black so i click okay so the black is gone so you can play with the settings a bit so the smoothness decrease the smoothness um, It's moving on now okay so you can just play around that if you think you are okay and click okay now you can see that my text is in the center of the screen which that's not what i want so i can move the whole easy worship thing around anywhere i want it so i think uh, somewhere here seemed a bit okay for me then i can transition the whole thing onto the screen is that okay okay so if i select this particular scene in fact let me remove the scene one from there move scene one are you sure you want to remove scene one yes so it is in two that i'm using now if i turn off the easy worship you can see that it's gone so i do the transition and easy worship is gone if i turn off if i turn off the video capture and then i transition i'm getting only the easy worship so if i want both then i have to turn on both the video and then the easy worship then i can transition onto the screen so whatever thing that you want so whatever video you have on on you can match that video and then the easy worship onto the screen okay but you can see now that we've done it here if you check the screens you can see that the output is not on the screens yet from obs so with obs what you have to do is that you just right click 
go to full screen and then select display one immediately i change that you can see that the whole display is on the screen so let's demonstrate that again so if i turn off the easy worship i transition you see that i have only the video just the video with this just one camera and then the video is on the screen okay now if i want only the easy worship i i turn on the easy worship turn off the capture and then i send the easy worship so you can see that easy worship is only what we have on the screen okay now if i turn off if i want only the easy worship i turn this one off i turn the capture off i turn the capture off and then i can or i turn off the easy worship transition onto the screen so you can see that we have only the video on the screen if i want both then i need to turn back easy worship on make sure that the eyes are both on and then you click transition then it moves onto the stage now if you are not shooting in studio mode then you might struggle a bit on how to do this it's always recommended that in easy worship or i'm sorry in obs you shoot in um, studio mode to be able to have this control so whatever you have here it's not the same thing that is appearing onto the screen okay thank you for watching our video subscribe for more videos like this thank you bye